Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to this video, man. Okay, so this video is going to be really short. I just want to share like a little trick that I find out about that I didn't know about. I think it's really interesting. Okay, so first of all, we go here. We go here to the top. We go for view, then show grid. And what this is going to do is going to show us this grid in the screen. And we can use it for different things. I think it's really interesting. So let's say, for example, that we take the selection tool. As you can see, we have this grid here. And the selection is going to it's gonna follow kind of the grid, you know. I don't know how to explain it exactly, but let's say we can select this. And it's going to, we can put it in a way that it just it sticks to the grid, you know what I mean? It's not like when we don't have the grid, it just goes all over the place. Here we can like make it stick to the grid, and that's it. So, what that allows us to do is to create shapes in a really consistent way, in a really clean way, as you can see. And I don't know, I just thought it was interesting. So let's see. For example, if we use even if we use the the, the how you call this? The brush tool, even if we use the brush, it also sticks to the grid, as you can see. So we can it's like a like a ruler, you know? Oh, yep. We had a problem there. But it's almost like we had a ruler and we could just make straight lines and this is like the normal brush this is not this is not the line tool or anything this is like the normal brush and as you can see we can do completely straight lines without any problems but i thought it's really interesting also with the selection tool like this it's almost like doing pixel art you know i guess we could do some type of pixel art using this technique which could be interesting, you know what I mean? Like, actually, yes, we could do that. Let's do it right now. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do it here. So you can just select and if you don't know by the way the way that i'm doing this i'm just holding shift to select multiple things at the same time you know just hold shift and you can select as many things as you want like that right so yep here we can do the same thing So this is actually like an interesting way to do pixel art in a bigger scale like this, you know. So you can try that out if you like the idea. There you go. We have like a little pixel art box here. Real interesting. So yeah, I think this might also be very useful to do like logos and stuff. I actually watched this like this trick. I saw it in in an Instagram post. It was a guy doing like a logo. So I think this is also useful for logos. Let's see something. He, he was doing something like an S. He was doing an S and he did something like... He was doing something like that, you know.
yeah guys i'm back again here and yeah as you can see i i did several things with this uh, i think it's interesting it's an interesting tool that i didn't know about so yeah well this is the s that i tried to do here it was really doesn't look very good to be honest but okay it's, it's an experiment it was only an experiment and uh, here the pixel art thing it looks cool and then this other thing i like how this looks looks very cool as well so yeah guys as you can see you have that one that trick that tip that you can use i hope it was helpful and yeah go to my channel i have a ton of other videos related to photoshop youtube uh no photoshop and flash specifically so yeah uh, go check it out and yeah thank you for watching see you on the next ones